Can you tell us about what has happened to this dam? Well, it is another terrorist attack by the terrorist state Russia. It is another war crime because uh, according to Geneva Conventions, the destructions of electric dams, hydro power plants is a war crime. And at the moment, uh, the level of destruction is still being um, established and identified. President Zelensky has already called an emergency meeting of the National Security and Defense Council. People in the nearby villages, and this is up to a dozen different villages, are uh, warned that they have to evacuate, they have to stock up on the um, on the fresh water, drinking water and uh, electricity is being cut off, uh, gas is being cut off. So uh, it is still early hours of this uh, tragedy, but uh, our emergency services are doing everything they can to, first of all, uh, save people's lives and second of all, to make sure that uh, the outcomes will be dealt with properly and quickly. Now, apparently, um, uh, so I've, I said earlier that both sides are blaming each other. Obviously, you're saying that Ru Russia did this, and, and Russia obviously saying that, um, well, that, it, that it, presumably that it wasn't them, that it, that it might have been you. What, what's your understanding of their explanation of what, what happened with this dam? Well, I think there will come a day when we will uh, entirely stop discussing whatever Russia says, because mm -hmm. on a daily basis, they're spreading lies and uh, they are very dark lies. Uh, so this time, of course, you know, we we are Ukrainians. We are fighting for our land. We are trying to liberate our land from this scum. We are not uh, in on a mission to destroy our villages, to ruin the lives of our people. So, of course, you know, we uh, our response is, again, this is uh, ridiculous Russian uh, propaganda, disinformation campaigns. And look, we understand why they're doing it. Uh, Yesterday, as I'm sure you've heard, uh, Ukrainian armed forces have uh, began achieving certain success, relative success in different parts of the front line, and um, Russians are panicking. They are demoralized, they're degraded. They can sense that they are losing this uh, aggressive and unprovoked war, uh, so they have uh, carried out this terrorist attack. Plus, uh, last night we were the, again the target of a massive missile strike, and our air defense forces have been able to intercept and shoot down 35 cruise missiles. All of them were launched and were headed towards the capital, Kyiv. But thanks to the support of our allies who have provided us with efficient air defense systems, we at the moment, as you can see, we, we've destroyed 100% of those projectiles that were launched at uh, Ukraine and at Kyiv. But again, uh, Russians are trying to somehow fool the world, but the world has seen so many times that uh, every time they open their mouth, they're lying. Um, on on this uh, this dam, you say, you say that obviously it's you know it has uh, it, it's going to cause problems in terms of uh, of drinking water for for people. How quickly can it be repaired? It is difficult to say at this uh, moment. We understand that the water level is rising uh, at the speed of 15 centimeters per hour. There are certain villages that have already been um, are underwater. Uh, people are evac being evacuated from there, and uh, uh, we'll have to see, you know, how quickly this can be repaired. But the damage is very, very considerable. Um what has been the effect, um, Yuri Sack, of the uh, so-called drone attacks within um, Russia? Because you, you, you were talking earlier about um, Russian lies and propaganda. Uh, is there any, do, do you detect any doubt from any people who have up till now supported you about your involvement um, in that? Everybody who is supporting us um, knows and sees that inside of Russia, uh, encouraged by the success of the Ukrainian armed forces on the battlefield, there is a growing number of people who are Russian citizens, who are Russian partisans, and uh, they are on a mission to uh, deal with their own regime, with their own terrorist regime. Now, we have said it openly to our allies that these people, they're acting independently. Uh, and we have said that the one thing that surprises us is uh, the fact that it's taken them so long to actually, uh, you know, uh, get together and uh, start these insurgencies. Now, uh, we are focused on our front lines. We are, fo this, 
more than 900 kilometers front line. We have a lot of Ukrainian temporarily occupied territories which we have to uh, liberate. Uh, so we wish luck to those people who are fighting against the same enemy who we are fighting against. But at the same time, we are focused on, on, on getting rid of these terrorists uh, and driving them out of, from our land.